how software test engineers are working from home part 3 agile processes yesterday we had our last spring planning and we sized the user stories or tickets that we had discussion on the previous meeting this is a part of defining the scope of the following spring after that meeting our sprint started okay let's take a look how we do sizing the tickets we size the tickets like many other Agile teams in a Fibonacci scale. So all user stories or tickets can have points in following sequence 1, 3, 5, 8, 13 and 21. Which means 1 is the smallest piece of work and 21 is the most complex and probably it will take more than a sprint to complete it. You may ask what the heck is sprint? It's not a company. In simple words, the sprint is the iteration or period of time in which we as a team are committed to complete a certain amount of work or those tickets that I was explaining before. When the sprint is finished, the next one starts right away. This is the endless processes of software development lifecycle. Once sprint is finished, we have a retrospective meeting in which we are analyzing the previous sprint with the whole team. To keep it simple, each member of the team answering just these three simple questions what went well, what we should improve, and the action items. These questions help us to find our strong part of the teamwork and uncover any pitfalls or weaknesses so we can address them right away to improve our work. Okay, to summarize, we have two week sprints with two sprint planning meeting with one retrospective meeting. Also, we have demo meeting in which each team member can share their work and knowledge that they have done during the sprint. If you guys like this video, hit the like and subscribe button and I will post more videos like this. See you soon. Bye.